In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he who is guided by the will of Allah, no one can misguide him and he is, he who is misguided, no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I do bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. A few minutes ago, I gave a quick khatira, and I will repeat it in English in a very simple words. I was trying to highlight how great Islam is in terms of being positive. The concept of positivism and the idea of being optimistic is something rooted deeply in Islam. One of the hadith of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, if the day of judgment is about to commence, about to start, and there is a shoot inside of your hand, about you were planning to plan it, to plant it. And the day of judgment is about to start, go and plant this shoot. Okay, it, it, it could be understood as an exaggeration, expression, how optimistic, how positive, how active you should be. This is something rooted deeply in the Islamic understanding and Islamic faith. Another uh, incident to show us how really we should be uh, active, optimistic, positive, and some kind of negative attitudes such as depression or, uh, you know, uh, this kind of similar things should not be something usual in our vocabulary, in our life. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when a big number of the non-believers of the Arabic Peninsula, they were trying to vanish Muslims from their city, peaceful Muslims at al Medina al Munawwara, the non-believers, the polytheists, they were trying to kill them, to attack them. They gathered about 10,000 of them against 3,000 of poor Muslims with less weapons, less everything. They were, it was very cold, they are in a the, the miserable situation they were. So they started digging a trench. It took a number of kilometers with a depth of few meters and the width of few meters. And they were using just the hand power, the very simple tools. Maybe some of them, they were using even sticks. So it was a very, very horrible, difficult situation. At that time, a piece of rock, it was like a big obstacle. They were not able to remove it. Then they asked Prophet Muhammad to help them. So at that time of very difficult situation, people, they are down, completely down. They are waiting for 10,000 to come to attack them. At any moment, if they manage to reach them, they will kill all of them. And back in the back, there was Badu Quraida, who there, there was a treaty between them. There's an agreement, there's a covenant, but some leaking news came that they were planning to break the agreement. Unfortunately, they wanted to break the covenant, betrayal. They wanted to betray them. So they were afraid when the kids and the women at any moment they might be killed or raped or burned or kidnapped. Allah knows what could happen less in numbers, very hungry, in a very difficult situation. Look to this context. While they were digging this piece of rock, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he, when he did the first hit, he said, Allahu Akbar, Futihat Qusuru Kisra. He said, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. The palaces of the king of the Persians, you know, Kisra, Kisra's, will be conquered. To a degree that some of the hypocrites, they were making fun of Muslims. They said, look at him and them, they believing in him. They can't even go to the washroom in our language. They can do not even take, you know, a rest in their washroom. And he's promising them in the big treasures of the great empire of Persia. So Prophet Muhammad was a true leader. He was a true, optimistic, positive role model. We need to take a lesson from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in our lives, not to be, you know, depressed for any simple, maybe just superficial reasons. 
life is full of obstacles, full of troubles, full of problems, which is part of life. It's something very normal. We are in a big trial, we are in a big test. So do not let anything happen just to take you down. Even if it happened, it should take you just a very short time, then you go up with your faith and with your Iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be a true believer. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.